And now some music history and maths. Adele and Ed Sheeran have never, that we know of, particularly collaborated on singles, but maybe they've been collaborating all along on their albums. You see, in 2008, Adele released 19, quite famously. Three years later, Ed Sheeran released Plus, his first major album. Uh, the same year, Adele released 21. Now we have a sub, 19 plus 21, of course, equals 40. Technically, Adele released her album first before Ed Sheeran, but you know, whatever. Then, of course, Ed Sheeran released Multiply in 2014, Adele released 25 in 2015. Now we have 19 plus 21 multiplied by 25, which, of course, equals a thousand. Well done. Then Ed Sheeran released Divide in 2017, Adele released 30, quite famously. It was scheduled for release in 2020, but then COVID ruins everything, even maths and music, musical, music algebra. I like it. Ed Sheeran's Equals came out in 2021, annoyingly one month before Adele's 30 actually came out. But if we go by the original scheduled date, it kind of works. Then, of course, you have 19 plus 21 multiplied by 25 divided by 30 equals 33 and a third, which happens to be an album by George Harrison from 1976. So maybe all along Adele and Ed Sheeran have been telling us they want to just equal one Beatle. Now, I know what you're thinking, bod mass. Technically, bod mass means that you need brackets around the very first numbers there, 19 plus 21. Otherwise, you'd go straight to the multiplying and the divided. You do that part of the sum first. Where do the brackets come in? Well, thankfully, there's a post-punk Icelandic rock band called Sigur Ross. They had an album called Brackets in 2002. So if you just have to separate the album, I mean, chop it in half if you've got a copy, and put it either side of Adele. It does look like Adele's got big ears, but hey, at least the math sum works. And now enjoy the music. <laughs> 